Alrighty, here we have Malak Dark Demon being played on Nintendo Switch. Our review code courtesy of Delores Entertainment. I want to thank them very much for the opportunity. Uh, so this game plays very similar to um, a more action-oriented uh, limbo, I guess you could you can call it. That's, a, that's, a, that's at least what I initially thought when I, um, when I looked at the screenshots. This is more like a uh, uh, arcade-style action RPG in the sense that um, you play as a, as a demon here, this demon warrior that's trying to uh, take back his uh, his homeland, and you have to kill um, these weird creatures and monsters and and uh, <clears throat> demons and and goblins and just a whole whole slew of different characters and their different enemies. Uh, I like the enemy variety. I think there's like over 30 enemies, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, you have two different spells. You have an ice spell and a fireball spell. You can earn um, up to four different weapons, which is cool. All right, I have the starting weapon. Uh, these weapons are earned by completing tasks. Um, they're, these, they're these shaman creatures that will give you um, objectives. And if you complete the objectives and go back to them, they will reward you with weapons or, or something else it's pretty significant to help you on your journey. It's pretty cool. Uh, the weapon, the the levels are pretty cool. Um, a lot of variety. There's weather effects. Uh, it's pretty awesome. The only downside, the only real complaint I have is that with that enemy in particular, once you kill him, sometimes the fireball will still spawn, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> um, you have three hits till you're dead. You typically have three lives. Now, if you if you have a game over, uh, you'll spawn back to the the start of the level, back to that spawn point. Uh, the coins you get um, do accumulate; they don't ever reset. I've noticed, which is kind of interesting. Even if you die, even if you get a game over, they don't reset. I'm not sure why that is. I'm not sure if it's intentional or if it's a glitch. Uh, it was, that was just never caught. Um, another thing I thought was kind of kind of funny, and I'm not sure why this is. I'm sure this is a glitch, but um, if you're in the menu, in fact, I'll, I'll actually show you. Uh, if you're in the menu here, and you're off off the side. When you're navigating the menu, you still can control <laughs> your character. I thought that was kind of weird. Um, I'm not sure if that's intentional or not. Um, I mean, you can't walk, thankfully. And if you start walking in and pause, it's still it's still paused, which is nice. Um, I thought that was odd. The skulls above there indicate your uh, hit points. You have three. And then the number to the left of the gold, or money, um, those are your lives. Those are how many lives you have before you're dead. And you have a game over. I mean, it may, it may sound like it's redundant, but it's really not. Because you have hit points and you have lives. But overall, this game's amazing. Um, it's fun. It definitely has a retro feel to it, which is which it's supposed to have, you know. Uh, it definitely reminds me of one of those 16-bit uh, era uh, action platforming games. And you can level up your uh, uh, your stats and your abilities later on in the game, which is neat. Oh, didn't get that, that platform there time. But yeah, this game's amazing, guys. Um, I cannot recommend this game enough. Uh, I think it's like 10 bucks in these shops. Not very expensive. And a lot of fun. Um, and quite a bit of a challenge. <laughs> for sure. Um, and uh, I guess that'll do it here. Um, I do want to thank you for watching. I do want to thank you for subscribing. I want to thank Dolores Entertainment for the opportunity. Uh, this game's amazing. And highly recommend it. 
And uh, that'll do it. Until next time, uh, take care and happy gaming.